Welcome to all our Ornamental Fish With viewers. Thanks for joining us again. Now today we'll be doing a simple DIY bottle filter which is cheap, convenient and this will make your water clear and your fishes happy. Want to know more? Stay tuned. If you are new to this channel, please remember to subscribe for instant notifications and more. Now we'll be going right into our DIY bottle filter. So for this bottle filter, we'll be using a couple of easy to find things around the home. We'll be using this 1.5 liter water bottle. That's a empty 1.5 liter water bottle so we'll be cutting this bottle around five inches now the other things we'll be using some filter material we'll be using a knife a marker also we'll be using a piece of half inch pvc pipe and this is about 10 inches long we'll be needing our tape measure our utility knife and a scissors now we'll be also using our soldering gun to punch some holes in the bottle for the suction to pull in all the waste from your aquarium so we are going to begin by cutting our bottle so we'll measure our bottle and we are going to cut our bottle from the bottom about five and a quarter inches so we are going to use our marker to mark the area which we are going to cut our bottle. So we are going to use our utility knife to cut our bottle right around. Now that we have finished cutting the bottom of our bottle, the top of our bottle, we'll be cutting a further 3 inches of the top of our bottle so that it can properly loop over the bottom of our bottle. So we are going to be using our scissors to cut a further 3 inches from the top of the bottle. that we have ensured that our bottle fits properly the top half and the bottom half fits securely now we are going to be punching our holes in the bottom of the bottle so in order for the filtration to take place we are going to be punching the holes in the bottom So here we have finished punching all our holes 
in the bottom or half of our bottle so we are going to be punching some holes in the top half of our bottle so that filtration can take place evenly throughout our DIY bottle filter. Now we'll be punching some holes in our PVC pipe about the half of our PVC pipe. We are going to be punching some holes along the sides right around the bottom half of our half inch PVC pipe. We'll be also punching a hole for our air tube to enter. So we'll start punching those holes in our PVC pipe. So after we have finished punching all those holes in the side of our half inch pipe and also the hole at the top for our ear tube to enter, we are going to start to finish our DIY bottle filter. Now there are two mediums we are going to use at the bottom. We are going to be using some stones along with charcoal which we have mixed. Now we'll be also using some wadding at the top that is going to be our final level of filtration. So as the water is pulled through the stones, through the charcoal which refreshes it, and then any fine particles will end up in that filtration material. You can get it to purchase at your local pet store. Now we are going to start the finalization of our DIY bottle filter. First we are going to try to see if our ear tube can enter through that hole so you will push your ear tube right in the center and you will feed it right until it goes right at the bottom of your PVC pipe where you have punched those holes so we are feeding our ear tube right to the bottom of our PVC pipe so after finish sending our ear tube down to the bottom we are going to be placing the PVC pipe in the center of the bottle the bottom half of our bottle so we are going to be adding our first media which is our stones these will actually capture all the hard waste the hard heavy waste will be captured at the bottom with the stones so they are our first level of filtration our stones we wash these stones before so therefore to get rid of any excess sediments on the stones so our stones next we are going to be adding our charcoal now what the charcoal does the charcoal 
actually kills additional bacteria along with refreshing the water so your charcoal give you gives your water a sense of freshness as it goes through so therefore along with getting rid of excess bacteria and it also refreshes your water so our charcoal is our second level of filtration so we'll add those two to the bottom half of our bottle to the top half of our bottle now we'll be adding our wadding material now what this wadding material would allow is for healthy bacteria to thrive on this type of material to break down all those harmful bacteria to break down that ammonia in your water so that material allows for the growth of healthy bacteria to blossom in your aquarium now we are going to be putting it over because the half inch pvc pipe fits perfectly in the top of our bottle so we are going to be fitting it over the bottom half of the bottle properly so we are going to be turning it a couple of times to fit it properly onto our bottle so we'll squeeze it right down to ensure that it is fit tight so there you have it our diy cheap bottle filter in less than 20 minutes made from household materials so right at the end there you would add your ear pump so you would connect your ear pump right at the end to ensure that you have a high level of oxygen flowing down which will allow the suction to take place so all the waste will be pulled through those holes at the side and the clean water coming right up so there you have it our diy bottle filter remember to check out our other filter videos our aquarium bucket filter and our sponge filter thanks much for watching ornamental fish waste